Today's going to be a fantastic day and actually the nice weather is going to continue for us through the rest of the week. And even though we are going to heat up into the weekend, that drier air is going to stay out there as well. We'll talk about that coming up. In the meantime, today, the first day of fall, the autumnal equinox. I got a little bit of bad news for you. Fall, it's not officially here just yet. That's going to happen here in another few hours. Officially, fall will arrive. 2.20 this afternoon, so technically we are still in summer right now. 2.20 this afternoon is when fall officially begins. We're not there just yet, but it already feels like it outside. We can for sure say that it's already begun. Now, what does that mean? The autumnal equinox, first day of fall. Well, equinox is, e is the Latin word for equal nights, and so we have an equal amount of daylight and an equal amount of nighttime on the equinox. That's about 12 hours. The sun is directly over the equator as we transition into fall here and head toward the uh, winter solstice, which is in December. So the length of the day and the night is nearly equal, but not exactly. Well, why is that the case? I'm not going to get crazy into this, but actually it has to do with the way we measure the uh, sunrise and actually has to do with some of the refraction of the sunrise over the earth and some atmospheric effects. So it's close to equal, but it's not exactly. In fact, at about three days from now, three or four days from now is when we'll have exactly 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness.